What's going on guys? It's about 4.30 a.m. Just woke up. It's Wednesday. And, uh, you know, I've been getting asked some questions like, what are your calories for the day? What are your macros? How do you eat so much? How do you get the right food in? All that kind of stuff lately. So, I'm going to make this video showing basically every meal I have throughout the day, what times, the purpose for the meals, you know, why I'm eating them, when I'm eating them. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you on the screen. I just weighed in at 213.2. Go ahead and write that down. I like to start off every day with weighing in just to adjust my food accordingly the next day if I have to. But for now, I'm on pace, okay? I'm, I'm not uh, deviating too much, so I'm good to go. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the macros later when I get back home after work. I gotta go to my part-time. And yeah, like I said, I'll explain a little bit about each meal for this one now though it's just gonna be probably a bowl of vector cereal just to start it off before I go to work get it started full day of meals let's go So I finished at my part time and uh, I'm back home now. It's 11.15, so I'm gonna eat something. And about an hour after that, so it's gonna be my pre-workout meal, more of a snack really, but pre-workout. And also I'm gonna go over the macros, the calories that I'm eating with you. All right, so let's see what we got up next. All right guys, for the pre-workout meal, I'm gonna have one banana. This banana is approximately the same as the other ones I've had, so I'm gonna show you the measurements in a bit. I'm gonna have a protein shake, all right, I got that combat powder, and I've got some creatine in there. And I'm gonna have two of these, all right, these granola bars. Come on, bats, focus for the kid. These granola bars are called soft and chewy. They're from Costco. They got uh, 100 calories, I believe 18 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, and a bit of sugar. So basically, I'm keeping the carbs up real high. Uh, before I eat that, I'm gonna go ahead and drink this full bottle of water, which I like to do just to make sure I stay hydrated before the workout. Uh, I'll just uh, move that <laughs> out of the way. Uh, you know, people could argue not the healthiest, not the best pre-workout, but you know what? It's quick, it's simple, and that's what I need right now to save as much time as I can. Now, when it comes to the amount of calories I eat on a daily basis, I've got everything tracked right here in my fitness pal. I eat 3350 calories a day, that's my goal, all right? And uh, I also do approximately three to 400 calories of cardio a day, so you can add, all, I add that in here. So I'm eating approximately 37 to 3800 calories, or 37 to 3750 calories usually a day. I've already got all this stuff usually in my database, so 120 grams is approximately the size of the banana. I'm not going that serious because I'm bulking. If I was cutting, I would be honestly measuring the banana out. Um, then I've also got, you know, the combat protein powder, one scoop, add that in. And I've got those two dipped and chewy granola bars. Well, I've got 2,484 calories left before the workout. Uh, my macros, by the way, so my macros are split definitely a lot different than traditionally or normal. Uh, my calories, like I said, 3350 and 60% carbs. So that adds up to 503 grams, which is a lot. 25% um, protein because that adds up to 209 grams. So about one gram per pound of body weight. And fat is 15%, which is only 56 grams. And I hardly get that. And the, honestly, the fat may seem low, but with my body, that's all I need to, you know, keep my hormones going naturally. And like I said, sometimes I don't even get the 56 grams. So, you know, what's the point of having the fat any higher if I don't need any more fat? I'd rather put that to carbs, my body type. And if you're a skinnier person, this will help you out as well. Generally, a more skinnier frame, harder to put on muscle. 
higher carbs is your best friend, okay? It's gonna help with performance at a gym, which is huge, and it's gonna keep you full all day long, okay? Let's see what we got for the rest of the day. I'm gonna eat this, probably read a little bit, get ready for the day, got everything planned. Hit the gym, I'm gonna crush a push day today. I might be able to get some clips for you guys, and we'll go from there. So I just finished at the gym. Time for my post-workout meal. Oh, bad lighting. Let's see what we got for that. So for my post-workout meal, I'm eating one of the three meals that I prep every Sunday and Wednesday. And um, I prep to make sure that I have at least three of these meals a day. That way I can ensure that most of the calories I'm intaking per day are good calories. To ensure that I've got something, you know, for 80% at least of my day, I fill in the rest of the calories with pretty much whatever I want. But most of it is clean. It's the same thing. I don't really put any seasoning, seasonings on it because I'm, I'm just boring like that. I just go salt and pepper. But... This way it's also gonna ensure that after my workout, I'm ingesting the best possible things, right? So, there we go. That's meal number two, technically. The first one in the morning was a snack, midnight snack, and uh, last one was breakfast slash pre-workout meal. This is meal number two. Let's keep going. I'm gonna eat this. After that, I gotta do some work, ebook, clients, stuff like that, maybe edit some videos. And uh, then I'm going to work in about three hours. I'll probably have my next meal right before I go to work. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's almost about time I head to work again. So I'm gonna get my third meal of the day. Second prepped meal. Pretty much the same as the first. This time it's tilapia. The last one turned out to be seven and a half ounces of chicken, like I said. This one's 180 grams of tilapia. And just to sweeten it up a bit, I'm gonna throw some of this teriyaki sauce in it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up, show you the final product, and then I'll put the macros on the screen as well. All right guys, so check it out. No teriyaki sauce because that last meal, I poured the teriyaki sauce on it and it looked a little weird. And it turns out it was expired over a year ago, even though we just bought this brand new. So that being said, I'm not going with the teriyaki sauce and um, I'm just gonna go with the salt and pepper again. Good thing I had an extra meal left over that I saved from yesterday. That's why you always gotta be prepared. So in case something like this happens, you lose food, you still got extra, okay? Being prepared is key. I'll be leaving in about 30 minutes or so. I come back in a couple hours, and then there I'll have another meal and then see what else we fill the rest of the day with. So we hit the goal. All right guys, you're probably like, what? how this guy's shirt come off? Hey, honestly, I don't even know how my shirt comes off sometimes, but it comes off pretty easily. All right, listen. I'm um, about to head to work. I ate that meal that I showed you before, but now, honestly, I've been real tired today, so before I hit up work, I need a lot of energy for my part-time job, so I have those cookies, you know, they got some sugar, some fat, obviously not the healthiest things in the world, but I put them in my macros. I'm also having a can of iced tea, lemon iced tea. This just goes to show you, you know, like you don't have to eat bro foods all the time. Yeah, I eat rice, chicken, tilapia, veggies pretty often just because they're a healthy choice, you know what I mean? But you can still enjoy the foods that you love. I love those cookies, man. And hey, if I want to have them, I can have them because I understand the rules of the game. All right, I understand. You can call it if it fits your macros. I understand calories in versus calories out. Plus, I'm still hitting my macros to a good degree to where I'm still going to see the results I want. So keep that in mind, guys. Listen, this is key advice. All right, off to work. I'm back from work again. 
9 p.m. I got another meal I gotta eat. So that'll be my third one for the day. Like I said, I always press up. There's three of these meals. Boom. It's the tilapia again. Same thing. Honestly, guys, basically eat this every day. Or most days. On the weekends, you know, Fridays sometimes, Saturdays, Sundays. Usually one or two of those days. I deviate a little bit, you know. I might not have enough meals to carry me through those days. And then I'll meal prep again on Sunday. But honestly, this is it, man. I, I eat this, those three meals, almost every day. I can spice it up every now and then, but for the most part, I don't. I don't really care much about taste. Uh, I just care about the results, to be honest. So, I'm gonna eat this. We'll see what I decide to fill the rest of the calories in with. Um, that's pretty much it. Just gonna hang out for a little, plan my day for tomorrow, uh, before I go to bed. And of course, eat something else. So I'll keep you guys in touch. Stick around for it. That's it for the day. I'm finishing it off with these arrowroot cookies. I got seven. I gotta get two more because I just dropped two of them, but I'm gonna get seven. I'll put the macros on the screen. I'm also gonna have a glass of milk uh, with that. And that'll be it for the night. Then I'm gonna hit the hay real soon. It's 10.15. Been up for a long time. So, uh, had a little nap, that's all right. But just check this out. With all this, all the food I ate all day that you guys saw, I'm gonna put my final macros up on the screen and show you what it looks like. Almost dead on, basically dead on. Within five grams less for each carbs, fats, and protein. My calories, it says I went over 10, but it doesn't make sense because I was under on macros. So I'm not too sure how that work, that, how that's working out. But yeah, basically another successful day. As you see, prepping the meals, very important. It makes a big difference. And you don't have to eat boring food all the time. Look, you can eat whatever you want. So still make progress. And that's it. Um, thanks for coming along on the day with me, checking out what I eat. Remember, this is a lean bulk. So I'm eating quite a few calories. Obviously when I'm cutting and stuff, which will probably be kind of soon, I'll take you guys through a, a cutting series of mine where I'll show you the same thing, how I'm eating, what I'm doing to lose shed away fat like crazy. For now, this is how I'm building muscle and it's been working. I've been gaining, if you saw my uh, lean bulk update, I've been gaining about half a pound a week, which was the goal. So I've been staying consistent with that, just eating the way I've been eating. So, thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. For all your fitness related content, comment below, let me know what other topics you'd like to see. This lighting's brutal. <laughs> what other topics you'd like to see. And I'm gonna have more videos coming soon. So, cheers. As always, like I said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.